competitors. And and I mean this in with all the respect in the world, so I've got a lot of time and respect for Nicholas, but when it's really mattered, and I mean really mattered in the past, he hasn't come out victorious. Yes, he's won this event last year, probably his biggest victory to date in terms of his career, in terms of tournament wins. But despite being at the last couple of World Cups, he hasn't gone on to that point of actually being a PlayStation World Champion yet. Could this be his year? The numbers suggest it might be. Mo Alba, though, is going to try and stop him. Mo yeah. Alba in the uh, Verde Bremen kits here, attacking right to left. Nicholas in the FC Basel, going left to right. And if we're looking at Nicholas' year, a bit, bit of a summary here outside of qualifying for the majority of events, and typically he always gets to the semifinals. He's never been Swiss. You're not going to see him getting grouped. He did fail to qualify for the E Champions League final, which was a big deal. A lot of people were surprised to see Nicholas uh, being on his home console, PS4, and not being able to qualify for the finals. He also lost the finals of the E Nations. Remember, France was victorious there. Yep. Argentina, Argentina came second. Uh, he did win the entire event. We're looking back at an LQE in London. Yep. Uh, he also lost a foot champs in London versus MS Desari in the finals. So that's kind of been hit and miss for him, a little hot and cold. And, of course, Nicholas won the uh, E-Club World Cup with F2 Tex as a partnership. What a team that was, the two number one players on both consoles. The thing with Nicholas is, of course, and Mo Alba, we've got two champions here. We've got the reigning playoff champion that could change if he doesn't win it again this year. And we've got the reigning E-Bundesliga champion in Mo Alba. So both these guys know how to lock it down and get those Ws. But only one of them can go through in this match. I'm going to have a little bit of a pause here. You can see the 4-2-3-1 formation being used by Nicholas there, representing, of course, FC Basel. European team that we've seen in, in and around European competition over the years, of course. Not, not a, a, a major European name in terms of the big you know, Champions League winners, if you like. But they've always been there or thereabouts. And they've got a major player on their hands in Nicholas. And one of those things that I love about the fact that these clubs are coming into esports is clubs can kind of change where their position and the status quo is. In a club like Werder Bremen as well, again, not always in the conversation as the biggest clubs in Europe, or even Germany necessarily, could head there from Nicholas. But in FIFA, they're right up there. Another corner here for Nicholas. Neymar, well, it's, no, it's Ronaldo on it now. He keeps changing the taker, trying to keep up with him. Neymar now is going to whip it in to the near post, headed down against the post. It came back. Oh, there's a penalty. There's been a penalty. Mo Alba lucky not to concede straight from the corner after the header came off the woodwork, but Neymar has given away a penalty in the box. It's a forwards tackle, you could say. And it is currently Neymar's going to take it, but he's going to change it to Cristiano here, Nicholas, to go 1 0 up in his quarter final. Top corner. You do not see that every time. That's rare for penalty kicks. Typically, we're looking at dribblers to the left, to the right, maybe even down central and it becomes that game of rock, paper, scissors, but nobody's stopping that. He couldn't stop it, even though he went the right way. The keeper did take a little bit of a step to the opposite side first, but that is unbelievable penalty taking from the Argentinian Nicolas 99 FC. And the Iceman is feeling nice and chill. Just a reminder that he's not nervous. This is his moment, this is his stage, and he's gonna set the tone. It's what he does. One nil up. For Nicholas, 1-0 down. Mo Alba, not a good position to be in against Nicholas. So good at keeping the ball. Mo Alba needs to try and equal the score as soon as possible because he could find himself starved of possession in this game. And you could say frozen out by the Iceman. You don't have to say that, but you could. Pull it. Nice little flick pass from Vieira. Chance for Mo Alba. Deflected to Sergio Ramos. And Moab was part of that, I, I call it the post-huge gorilla inspiration crowd, where you have more attacking football that you're going to see on display. It'd be the Moalba, the FIFA Ustin, also lost in the waves, who's left in this tournament, where these guys look to score as many goals as possible. And I don't want to say defense is secondary, but they're just more gifted offensively. They take more gambles going forward. They're looking to create havoc, having yeah. a, a bit of some YOLOism. If we compare it to traditional football, it's that Brazilian mentality of, you know, attack is the best form of defense. We're just going to outscore our opponents. And it's not necessarily a belief that Nicholas prescribes to. 
Nicholas is more of an all-round game. He falls much more under the old cliche we say a lot here that defence wins championships. Nicholas is very good in defence. No goal conceded thus far. With only 27 minutes into this first leg quarter-final here at the FUT 19 playoffs in Berlin, Germany. Nicholas looking to add to his tally here. Ronaldo finds his namesake. Oh, nine. Good tackle from Virgil van Dijk. And now Alba can look to get it out the other end. Do you think Mom Alba's got Aubameyang team of the season on the bench or in the squad? Why not? Should do, really. Ball inside for Mo Alba. Finds Neymar, who gives it to Hullet. Hullet to Neymar. Can he get a shot off? A little bit of pressure on him. Turns it. Gets it to Havertz, who's closed down quickly by these guys in blue and red. Varane. To Ronaldo here. Nicholas will be patient. Good ball down the line, though, for Cristiano Ronaldo to chase. He's going to deliver it first time into R9 Ronaldo. Lays it off. Neymar dispossessed. Nicholas felt like he was quite slow with Ronaldo there in the box. He didn't seem to make his mind up quite quickly. Was he just trying to get his players caught up with him? If Nicholas could get a second chance there, he would be turning with Cristiano Ronaldo. He didn't need that extra pass. Uh, I think he was surprised that Moabo backed off, allowing him to have that space. And that's why you see just the small hesitation. It's minor, but when you're at this level, every minor mistake or a misread or a hesitation can cost you an opportunity. Definitely, this level, the small margins make the difference. Neymar on the ball here, holds it up well. Feeds it back to Vieira, who finds Mbappe into Ronaldo now. Hullet to his left, but it's going to hit it. Left foot, can't stop it. Straight in the back of the net. 2-0 to Nicholas. Mo Alba, not in great shape. And we talk about Nicholas and his defense and his build-up and his structure. But it's got to be said, his finishing is superb, sublime. Insert a superlative here. He's going to finish 1v1s. He's going to take his chances. We've commented multiple, multiple games from Nicholas throughout this weekend. And every single time uh, when he gets a chance, he converts. I actually feel too many times at this level do we not see players take shots like that. Put it on a five-star weak foot, left foot. Once you have an opening like that, i.e. there's no defenders between you and the goal, it's a clear shot. Even though it's on his weak foot, which he doesn't really have because he's got a five-star weak foot, uh, uh, the players these guys are using, the stats they have in their locker, just get the shots off. Not necessarily from crazy distances or angles, but that is a, a good opportunity. Nicholas identified it, took the shot, and was rewarded for it. Moalba with a lot of work to do here. And because it's a bit of a maybe location on the pitch, Moalba doesn't know or he's unsure if he should be moving the goalkeeper. Is he going to be shooting far post? He's shooting near post. Moalba getting forward here with Neymar. Finds Vieira holding it up over to Ronaldo. Dragged his shot there. That is not going to cause Van der Sar any problems at all. And that's the half time whistle. Nicholas in a commanding position right now. 2 0 up. Yeah, dream beginning for Nicholas uh, and a nightmare for Moalba. He might feel. A little hard done by the penalty kick. If you remember, it did hit the post. It was off a corner kick. It fell to Varane, of all people. So we're not really sure if he would have converted that opportunity. He goes down in the box, a bit clunky. Yeah, with the header itself, Nicholas was able to... We'll, we'll take a look at the replay later on, but Nicholas was able to direct it downwards off the, off the ground, which is a, a, a tactic we see a lot of strikers use in real life to cause the keeper a problem, give him a bounce to deal with. But is that something that Nicholas would have done deliberately in that case when he did the header? Is that just a little bit of a luck in terms of the way it hits the goal? You can use a downward header in FIFA 19, so it's possible, but it is also possible uh, via that near post that he just went for the header, and that's kind of how it came out. And remember that Van I believe, got a hand on it, and then it came off the post and followed up for Veron. And the penalty was dispatched with absolute clinical finishing from Nicholas. Top corner. Love to see it. You really do. 2-0 to Nicholas right now. Werder Bremen's Mo Alba with some work to do. But he's got a whole game and a half to do it. Just scoring against Nicholas will be the, the first kind of breakthrough for him. And it's got to be said, just for your mentality, 
Mo Alba needs to score now. He can't go down three goals. Not against Nicholas, because you know that he's going to look for the possession play. You know that he's ready to swing the ball side to side. Tactically, many would say he's a genius in terms of being able to adjust, having multiple game plans for different types of oppositions. Got away with a heavy touch in the middle there as Nicholas slowly works his way into Mo Alba's half, and his defense is stepping foot in Mo Alba's half now. Modric, pull it. Ronaldo, can he get a third? Neymar. Inside to Modric. Pass goes awry, but Mbappe gets it here. Look at the push from Hullet. It would be really unfortunate for Mohalba if he'd given away a second penalty there. Just a shoulder barge from the Dutchman. Nicolas still coming at him, though, with Mbappe now. Inside. Still Mbappe. Oh, wonderful. Fantastic. Sublime, as Mike called it once again. Three La Croquettas in the box. You can't stop that. And Nicolas is the number one player in the world, in my opinion, transitioning defense to offense. You could pick a console, it doesn't matter. I think that's his best trait, where he's able to swarm you quickly, force a mistake, and then counter immediately. I think I actually misidentified them there. They weren't Lacroquettas, they were Elasticos in the box that he did three back to back. I mean, my eyes were just tied up in knots from the direction that uh, Nicholas was spinning my other defenders in. Fantastic stuff from the Argentinian vintage Nicholas we're seeing right here. 3-0, Mo Alba smiling after he conceded that one. He knows who he's up against. As we talked about, he's got one win in five games against Nicholas. And right now, at least, it's looking like it's going to be a, another defeat for the German. And that goal is relatively similar to a goal that we've seen earlier, uh, earlier in the year, where you had F2 Tech yep. having a moment against Tuga in Atlanta for the Champions Cup. Just bringing you back. Yeah, the Elasticos have been very effective in big games this year, as have, of course, the La Croquettas. Maybe getting a little bit more predictable now as Mbappe runs down this left side for Nicholas. One more goal would surely seal it. We're not going to see a comeback of a four-goal variety against a player of Nicholas's quality, surely. Moalba has to now score the next goal. Neymar, Nicholas having most of the ball, as we're used to. Modric picked out on the edge of the box. Back to Neymar. Well, Mbappe, pull it. Modric, 1-2 between the two centre midfielders. Good little tackle from Alba's defender. Now Messi running down the right side, finds Neymar. Former Barcelona partners, perhaps. Future Barcelona partners, if rumours are to be believed. Although Barcelona have now secured the services of one Antoine Griezmann. Nice from Mbappe, predicted the sliding tackle. Pull it, picks out Neymar. Neymar turns. Whoa, another strong challenge coming in from Rude Hullet, and he gets the goal kick. And the reason that Elasticos are so prominent and become a member of the meta in terms of skill moves is because of the quick execution and also the way that they change angles. It's difficult to make a tackle. You can draw penalty kicks, and you can also chain Elasticos together, which we've seen on multiple occasions. Someone's watching at home, and they've got a player that can do an Elastico. First of all, what do they need in terms of skill moves? Five-star skiller. They need five stars. How do they do it physically on the PlayStation it's, controller? It's, it's on the right analog stick. It's something I can show you very easy. I feel like verbally it's not going to come out nearly as clean, but I can show you exactly how to do it in terms of Maybe we'll add how you roll the stick. The breakdown board later. A little breakdown board on the... Yeah, yeah. We'll put, we'll put something together. Modric on the ball. Over to Varane. Ronaldo now for Nicolas, who surely if he gets a fourth, it could be lights out for Mo Alba. Ronaldo, Modric and Hullet getting all kinds of space in the middle. No real pressure being put on them when they get the ball. Alexandro comes inland. Modric, Ronaldo's touch lets him down. Can we get a Mo Alba return goal just to get a little bit of hope in this fixture? Neymar does well. Pull it. Mbappe's opened up some space here for Mo Alba. Gets on the right foot, Neymar! And he beats the keeper. And it was down the middle, but the keeper had moved to that corner of the goal. And he's wrong-footed, and there's that trademark smile from Mo Alba. Is he back in it, Mike? It's a little smirk. He needed something, definitely before the second leg. Has to make sure that he doesn't concede any more goals, but at the same time, if he's able to nick two goals, this ends up being 3-2. It's anyone's game going into leg number two. And we can see the roles kind of shift. A, a bit vice versa because if you talk to both these players, Mo Alba and Nicholas will tell you, Nicholas is a slow starter typically. 
and Moab will get off to a good start, maybe even a lead in the first leg, and then adjustments are made, second leg, Nicholas comes alive. We saw that happen yesterday. Stefano Pina beat Nicholas in the first leg, looked the better of the two. Shot got a deflection there, which was probably the reason it went in, because Nicholas had actually guessed the right way. I didn't actually notice the deflection when it happened live. You see in the replay there, you have to say Alba a little bit lucky because Nicholas had moved his keeper very accurately in the build-up to that. But yeah, if you're saying that Nicholas traditionally is a slow starter, then if this is him starting slow, I don't want to see what happens once he gets going. Messi on the ball here for Nicholas, runs straight into a Virgil van Dijk-shaped wall. And Nicholas has a way of almost stealing your thunder. You think that you have a chance in a match. And as he systematically has a couple of mistakes here, and Nicholas could punish, and he does. And that could be the goal that costs Mo Alba his place in the playoffs. He gets himself back in the game with a goal, and then not once, but twice, he gives the ball away from his goalkeeper. And you just can't do that when Nicholas is on the ball. He finishes with a nutmeg. It's tantamount to vandalism. It's got to be said, what are you doing, Mo Alba? Just close this out, get into the second leg. What does he think right now? The smiling has stopped for the meantime. You can't be giving goals away like that at this level. And not to Nicholas, because every goal he gets on top of you, it's going to be so hard to get it back, Mike. And all the players know that. They're aware of that, that, that information. If you go down and it gets Nicholas, that's, that's not good. But you have, a, you have to force your comeback. You have to create that comeback. Nicholas is not going to present you with an easy opportunity. He's not going to make mistakes like this one. In the words of Meatloaf, you can do anything in FIFA, but you can't do that. I've paraphrased him a little bit. But you can't do that against Nicholas. He will punish you. Mo Alba, can he get back in the game with a quick reply? No, he can't. And Nicholas is too consistent on the defensive end too good at holding the ball, too good at just game management for you to be able to afford errors where you're giving him a free goal. Five minutes left on the clock in this first leg. If it's not over already, I think another Nicholas goal would seal the deal. However, if Moalba can get one back here on the counter, it sets up a nice little spicy encounter for the second leg. Sergio Ramos finds Messi, Neymar, good ball from Mbappe. Can he find a man in the middle? Flicks it up, Ramos was there to recover. And Nicholas will probably see the rest of this first leg out now. He's got the ball in his control. Is this onside? Defenders are calling it to be offside, but Linesman's flag stays down. And once again, Mo Alba gives the ball back to Nicholas. And he could be punished. Alexandro into Pele. Modric now into injury time. And Nicholas should be looking to create the final attack here. Messi. Could this be it? One minute left of added time. Waiting for the perfect moment to cross. Finds space. Mbappe finds Modric. Does he get the shot off? Surely he's got to be soon. There's some La Croquetas run straight into a Moalba defender. That is the final whistle on the first leg. 4-1 to Nicholas. Moalba did so well to get that goal and make it 3-1. At that point, you thought, maybe there's a chance. But a 4-1, Mike, can he do it? Even if Moal was perfect in leg number two, I just can't foresee Nicholas squandering a lead. I mean, conceding that many goals, to be uh, honest. And then also not scoring. You got to remember, Moal would have to win 3 0 or win 4 1 in the second leg, something that has that three goal spread in order to recover this deficit. Yeah, it's going to be a real challenge for Moalba, no doubt about that. He's pulled out some big results in the past before. I remember seeing him do some amazing comebacks, but against a player of Nicholas's standards. I'm not sure. I'm not sure he's going to do it, but I'm sure there's people out there that believe. I know Werder Bremen will be hoping Mo Alba can do just that. Nicholas, though, if he gets through this game again, you have to say that, that, that the ladder he's had, the bracket he's faced, is the hardest by anyone's standards, and he's number one in the world. He's, he's really earning it, and uh, you have to just give him the plaudits he deserves. Let's take a look at the highlights from that first leg. Starting off with the first goal now. Decent header here from Ronaldo. Bounces off the floor. I'm not sure the keeper does get a touch to it, you know. It comes off the woodwork. Penalty was given away straight away. And what a penalty this was, Mike. Do you ever put it top corner? Are you brave enough? Rarely. Not when it's nil-nil and I'm playing to double my money. Nicholas showing 
the guts that he has there. And he doubled his lead just before the break. Great pass to Hullet. No need to take a touch. When you've got a left foot like this, man, you just unleash fury on Nicholas's command. And that's exactly what he did. 2-0. And then uh, my elbow was in trouble. And Vanderstar was froze there, and that's what I was talking about. He takes this shot. It's in a dangerous location. Moalba just didn't know where he needed to move the goalkeeper. Another mistake from Moalba giving Nicholas the ball here. And the Elastico.com from uh, Mbappe there was an absolute sight to behold. And there's a, there's a mistake in the build-up. We will see another Moalba a mistake, a mistake later on in this game. But he did get a goal back before that happened. Mbappe finds some space. Creates the movement, gets it to Neymar, and he did get a bit of luck on that, I have to be honest. There was a quite large deflection off Sergio Ramos, which beat the keeper. And he kind of can tell that was a bit fortuitous there, but he does this. Gives it away once with the keeper, and then gives it to Varane. Gets caught on the ball. Very reminiscent of the mistake John Stones made for England in the uh, semi-final of the UEFA Nations League. So, Mo Alba, not happy with that one at all. Uh, you guys watching at home, reminder for you, make sure if you haven't already, you've linked your EA and Twitch accounts. If you do, you're eligible to win all kinds of good stuff like a Roberto Carlos Prime Moments item, Team of the Season items, and many, many more things. So make sure you've linked your EA and Twitch accounts. Also, anyone who tunes in with a linked PlayStation account to the FIFA 19 Global Series PS4 playoffs here in Berlin, as long as you're watching on Twitch and you've got them linked, you'll receive a FIFA Global Series PS4 Playoffs Home Kit. Just to freshen up your ensemble options. I like that, the ensemble options. You're going to use that? I'm going to use that somewhere. No problem. Like, hey, I'm not ready yet. I'm putting together my ensemble. You certainly are a man that has multiple ensembles, no doubt about that. Okay, so 4-1 right now to Nicholas at the break. Now, Aubameyang, if he was to get back in this game... It would probably be his best comeback ever. One of the best comebacks ever. Not maybe in terms of goals. We've seen bigger comebacks. But in terms of the, the, the scale of the match, where we are here, $75,000 on the line, but also his opponent. He's up against the hardest person he can possibly play on PlayStation. That's a lot of peas. And he's going to need a lot of goals if he's going to come back. And Moalba's going with the 4-4-2. And then, of course, Nicholas is staying strong with the 4-2-3-1. And I'm expecting to see a very aggressive 4-4-2 from Moalbo because he needs goals, he needs them often. He's got to set the tempo of what kind of game this is going to be. And we haven't seen Nicholas under any pressure. Can Moalbo get an early goal with that old-fashioned 4-4-2? No nonsense. Stick two lads up front, get them the ball, see what happens. And depending on your tactics, the 4-4-2 can look very different. It can look almost like a 4-2-4. Uh, sometimes it can look like the classic 4-4-2 that we always reference and talk about. And this aggression might be what's about to hurt Mo Alba as Nicholas goes through and Neymar turns. He's tackled, though, by Da Costa, who I think is playing in a central position in this game. Maybe wants that pace in the middle of the park. Ronaldo now. Oh, a little bit of a trip. No advantage played. Nicholas regains possession once again. You've got to respect that usage. If you're a hardcore or a long-term FIFA player, Bringing back the Berber spin from Nicholas there to cut inside. Yeah, nice little hark back, little homage to the man himself, Dimitar Berbatov. What a player he was in his prime. Great ball inside for Nicholas here. Mbappe, good tackle, and that's from that man to Costa again, who's doing a job in the middle right now. He wins the ball back for a third time. Seems like a good decision from Albert to play him in there so far. Pull it. Going to get it over to Ronaldo. He's trying that through ball. You know, the best use of through balls I've seen so far in this tournament. Lost in the waves. His defence, his attack, sorry. Absolutely frightening. The way he was picking out his two strikers. Mbappe into Hullet. Great pass there. Nicholas's passes are finding their target at the moment. Varane gets the cross, though, from right back. And it's sent into Neymar's feet. And the run was made there by Cristiano. Neymar just didn't get it to him in time. Vieira now, though, plays Havert to this right side. Can the German deliver? He beats his first man. Finds Ronaldo, looks for the first time. Pass cut out by a defender in an FC Basel kit for Nicholas 99 FC. And Nicholas just has impeccable timing to his defensive 
decision making, whether he's going to push or he's going to pull, he's going to be aggressive, he's going to be passive. Neymar's going to whip this one in here for the cross, looking for the header, Patrick Vieira hits it, not particularly convincingly. And Moalba will survive that one for now. Neymar, Havertz. Neymar's running off, looking for the through ball. Goes to the back heel instead of Van Dijk. What's he doing up here? The big man is playing right back, it seems. And he's out of position, and this could be bad. Da Costa is marched in the defence right now for Mo Alba. Needs a big tackle. Nicholas is going to be very dangerous in this scenario. Neymar to Vieira. Feels like something's coming here. Mo Alba just needs to slow him down. Is Van Dijk playing right back? He's taking a long time to get back in position here. Vieira to Neymar here. Moalba needs to get something, but every time he goes on an attack, he doesn't look anywhere near as dangerous as Nicholas. Mendy, that left back, the new Real Madrid acquisition for Moalba. Pull it. Nicely done. Finds Ronaldo. Can he shoot? Looking to create space. Havertz hits it and it beats the keeper. And Moalba is still alive and kicking in this game. 4 2 now. And you just wonder, if he didn't make that mistake at the end of the first leg, it would only be one goal in it. And he can't think about that mistake. That was huge for his confidence. Get you back into the game. You score first, you convert your opportunity, you're working for it. This has been more of an open match as well. Quicker back and forth. Not nearly as much possession play from Nicholas. And we're going to see some changes. And that man you absolutely adore, Kai Havertz, scoring the goal for Mo Alba. In from... The right side of midfield. What's he thinking in his head right now? You talked earlier, Mike, about this game needing a kind of flip of the script in terms of uh, we didn't see, you know, Moalba's dominance in the first leg that we might have expected, and we usually expect Nicholas to come out of his shell in the second. We actually saw a dominant Nicholas in the first leg. But if we're to follow this kind of 180 flip, Moalba needs to come through in this second leg. And so far, so good. And we're seeing an interesting formation adjustment here. So Nicholas has swapped out of the 4-2-3-1, and now he's looking to mirror Mo Alba a little bit closer with a 4-2-2, which resembles the 4-4-2 in many ways. We've seen Nicholas go to the 4-2-2 quite a few times. Fairly attacking, obviously. The main difference between that and the 4-4-2 is rather than your, your left and your right midfielders, you've got your, your two kind of advanced cams, or lambs and rams, as you should call them, left and right attacking midfielders. Slightly more central, slightly more advanced. You haven't got that flat four in the middle. There's Nicholas on the ball here. If he can get a goal straight away, he can just calm everything down and remind Mo Alba who's in charge and who's number one in the world for a reason. Pull it to Ronaldo. Could it be here? Good deflection. Going to get another goal. And there it is, right on cue. It's quite simply what he does. You don't mess with Nicholas and live to tell the tale. And I was going to follow up. His formation adjustment going into a 4 2 2 was not a defensive adjustment. I think he wanted an additional option for striker to striker passes, one twos. Because Moab was playing more aggressively, trying to get back into this match, it's easier for him to create sure thing chances or get some of those bounce backs. Just be able to create a little more havoc on some of the counter attacks, the releases of space. I respect it from Nicholas, to be honest, that he, you know, had a lead, conceded a goal. Rather than thinking, I've got to protect my two goal lead, he's like, no, I'm going to go and score another one. And it's, it's not particularly Nicholas, if you like, of him which is we're used to him seeing starve his opponent of possession a little bit. But he's gone, no, I'm going to outscore you in this game. And there's another shot. Oh, is that a fingertip save from Van der Sar? I think it was. That shot looked destined for the top corner. He must have, like, bricks for fingers there in, in terms of being able to push this on. Oh, he's really got a good amount of height on that because the ball was only going in the middle of the goal. And to push it over your crossbar there is very impressive from Van der Sar. Corner comes in. It's very near post. Lots of curl on that. Van Dijk's going to work it back to Da Costa. Plays it straight into Varane. He's got a lot of defenders in advanced positions. Havertz is onside, but he can't beat the defender. Three goals adrift is Mo Alba here. As we get nearer and nearer half-time in this second leg of a quarter-final here at the FUT playoffs in Berlin. And just to reiterate, these players have matched up five times throughout this competitive season. Four wins for Nicholas, one for Mo Alba, but that also plays a part in terms of a formation adjustment, knowing your opponent's tendencies. Yeah, these players know each other fairly well at this point. Both been around the scene for a number of years. Great reputations, great pros. The moment in this current iteration of the game, Nicholas seems to be the greater pro. 
Neymar looking to get a shot off for Mo Alba. If that had gone in, we might have started to believe in the dream for Mo Alba. But as things stand, Nicholas looks like he's going to do this. But a half of FIFA, plenty of time for some fireworks. Mo Alba's going to get the ball back. Not great use of the ball by Nicholas, but he gets it back straight away. Neymar, Alexandro, gives it away once more. Strong tackle from Varane, though, to make up for the mistake. Not a good throw from Moalba, giving possession back. And we are getting into injury time in the first half now. Sergio Ramos, inside to Vieira. Varane. Vieira in quite a bit of space here, picks out an easy through ball. This could be the goal that seals it. Ronaldo looking for a pass back post. Maybe should have took the shot on there. Vieira wins the ball back. We are 50 seconds over our allotted injury time now. So as soon as this play breaks down, it should be the whistle. Can Nicholas get the goal here though? Luckily for Mo Alba, his keeper claims it. So three goals separate the German and the Argentinian right now, Mike. What does Mo Alba need to do to try and get back in this game that he's not already doing? I'm looking now to see what kind of adjustments he's making. He has to go for it if he wants to give himself any sort of chance in the second half. But he's only got 45 minutes of game time. And Nicholas prides himself. And we talked about pride earlier on the couch. But he prides himself on being able to close out games, being able to see them out, uh, understanding where the space is on the pitch, understanding how to increase the width for additional possession play, and using every inch of the virtual pitch in order to find those angles, to find the space. Worst case, if he needs to go deep, he's definitely going to go deep as well and, and make you reset. Moaba will need a perfect, I'm talking perfect, second half to get himself into the running, to shake it up a little bit, to make it a little more interesting. Moving to a three at the back in the second half. And whilst that might grant him more attacking possibilities, you've got to wonder, what could Nicholas do to a, a three-man defence? He could run a mock. So, 5-2 on aggregate here. Nicholas starts with the ball. Mbappe on for Ferland Mendy. Messi on for Vieira. Both for Moalba. Two attacking players replacing fairly defensive ones. It's a signal of Moalba's intent. We're going to see goals in this half, guys. I can guarantee you that. We will see more goals. But will they fall to Moalba, who needs them the most? Free kick for Nicholas here. What's he going to do here? Going to go short. Ronaldo tries to return it to the taker, Neymar. Gets it to Hullet. Alexandro now switching it over to Varane. No need to rush things for Nicholas. He's earned that right. Great ball in here, though, from Mbappe. Can he find a target? Still Mbappe working it. Unlucky not to get a cleaner strike deflected for a corner. You see that double drag back just looking for the layoff, trying to open up any sort of lane. We put the ball across on the ground, preferred. Comes in here, Hulli with a header. Van der catches that one, and he had to, to keep Moalba in this game. We see those square passes time and time again, always will be used heavily at the competitive level. Even if you're at home, intermediate level. If you're a casual, at the beginner level, it's just a finish that nobody's going to miss. Messi. Keeping the ball under pressure. Moalba needs to get it further up. Getting it nearer Nicholas's box is where it gets difficult for him. As you see once again there. Modric to Ronaldo. Back to Modric. The old Real Madrid teammates linking up. Modric beating De Costa to the loose ball. Still with Nicholas, who's playing advantage and he's going to go back. Deliberately waits for the free kick. And it's going to be a yellow card for Messi. Imagine Nicholas will go short with this one. We have seen people pump it into the box and score, but there's no need for Nicholas to do that. Sandro to Hullip. Neymar now. Turning his man with relative ease. Still Neymar. Two men on him, picks out a pass to Hullip. Great first touch. Corner. They had a lot of corners in this game, Nicholas. And the magic minute from Mo Alba, if he wants to get back into this, he's got to get a goal by the 70th. That's the magic mic minute. You heard it here first. 
Right now it's Magic Modric on the ball. Neymar. Bad pass. Modric almost recovers it. And now could this be the Mo Alba counter and goal that this game so desperately needs? Mbappe chasing up against the other Mbappe. Mbappe wins. Moran. Pull it now. Ronaldo coming for the ball. Finds Mbappe, who's continued his run after starting the move with a defensive tackle. And now Mo Alba could counter. This game, quite frenetic right now, back and forth. Who will get the next goal? I said there would be one. I guaranteed it, no less. Reputation's on the line here, Mike. Now, Alba's not going to get a goal with attacking play like that as he runs straight into a defender. And he gives away another corner. It's kind of a catch-22 when you're building up with Mo Alba here. He wants to go quickly, but everybody knows that he wants to go fast, and the clock's against him, but he kind of needs that time. He has to go backward, side to side a little bit in order to build up properly versus Nicholas, because Nicholas is not making big enough mistakes. Nicholas beats players in that position so easily on the edge of the box, out wide. Always finds space. That's going to be another penalty, and this could be the game winner. Second penalty is given away in this quarter-final, Mo Alba. And Nicholas put the last one top left. What's he going to do here? Something tells me down, down central. Downtown is where Mike thinks he's going to go. Neymar with the run-up. Top left again. It takes a lot of balls to do that. Not once, but twice in a match of this magnitude. And Nicholas, I think, has just clinched himself a semi-final spot. And he's had Mo Alba this year. He's had his number. The only win that Mo Alba's had was the very first matchup they had. And that's when Nicholas was still learning, adjusting, getting used to the meta. At this point, you're seeing him include more of the flick-up crosses. We didn't really see any L tornadoes. But even the quick succession of the, the skill move chain with the Elastigo is something that's very meta-based. There's no shame in being beaten by Nicholas. Yeah, this guy is number one in the world on PlayStation. And Moaba's had moments. He's got a bit unlucky at times. He's got a bit lucky at other times, to be honest. I think you can't really deny Nicholas this victory. And what it will do is set up a great semi-final matchup between Argentina and Brazil. The age-old enemies. Wolves for Filza against FC Basel's Nicholas 99 FC. You do not want to miss that one. Unless, of course, Moaba can pull out a true miracle and get back in this game. With passing like that, it ain't going to happen. And Nicholas is on record this year saying that the Phils is the best player in South America. Back post is on if he can pick it out, and he should have probably played that cross. Nicholas may be taking mercy on Mamalba. Did you hear me? I did, yes, for Philza. He said best player. It's almost like he teed up this game at the start of the year. Once he said that quote, I was like, they're going to face each other at some point. They're going to play each other in a big matchup, and it could just be this playoff semi final. But Mo Alba still within a shout as long as there's time on the clock. 15 minutes. He needs four goals. It's a goal like every two and a half minutes. I just don't think he's going to do it. Three minutes, actually, three and a half minutes. I've not got a maths degree, I haven't got a calculator. It's somewhere around three and a half minutes per goal. And that clock is getting smaller. Oh, and another one. Nicholas. What he does is just sensational. He scores from nowhere, from anywhere, whenever he wants. He scores when he wants. He scores when he wants. And so on and so on. And it's all about efficiency. He picks and chooses his moments so well. When he shoots from outside of the box, when he hits a first-time shot, when he looks for the additional drag backs. He's also drawn a couple penalty kicks in this matchup. From the very beginning, it's been all Nicholas, and it stays that way. He's going to progress into the next round. That's why you can't go against him. He's the favorite in every matchup. But it should be said that we have a South American affair. Great derby. Fantastic derby. Some proud supporters of the FIFA scene from Brazil, of course, that will be chanting for Wolves for Filza. It's a Wolves versus FC Basel matchup as well. Nicholas with that last goal with Eusebio scoring. Is it Eusebio or Pele? I'm not sure who he's using right now. But it was a great goal on the left foot from distance, like the Hullet goal in many ways. Took it quickly. Eusebio with yeah. that five-star weak foot. 
You say that like five star weak foot. Nicholas likes to get the five star weak foot in and around the box, so he can do just that. And he's not even giving Moalba a chance now. In the last few minutes, he's still being resolute at the back. Varane. Mbappe. Can Nicholas get another to win a quarter final against a player? Well, the second best player in this tournament remaining. By this scoreline, fair play to you, Nicholas. I tip my hat to you, sir. And if you're new to the FIBA scene, this is the number one player with Nicholas going up against the number four player on the PS4 side. So he's not out here just playing uh, for another professional he's player. He's no tournament. Yeah, he's not. He, this is a guy that puts on a show, puts on a clinic, puts on a performance, scores a lot of goals. He's only been able to beat Nicholas' goalkeeper twice. Nicholas might get an eighth here if he keeps this going. Hull it into Mbappe, into Ronaldo. Turns into trouble, but lives to tell the tale, but goes straight into the keeper. Did he just not shoot there? Because he just wanted to... Yeah, my has got a family. And it never really felt that Moab was in this game. He didn't give himself a chance to make that run because he started so poorly. And when he got the goal back, he conceded almost straight away afterwards. That's the bit that's really hurt him here. And Nicholas having some fun with it now. Gets another corner. Got to be double figures for corners. We're 50 seconds over our allotted time here, folks. This game will be ending any second now. Can there be another goal for Nicholas? That's surely going to be the whistle. Two minutes over, ref. OK, Nicholas has kicked it out, and he goes through 7-2 against Mo 